Hi everyone, and today I'm talking about how God taught me the Bible through visions and dreams, through personal encounters with Him. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Find out why visions are so important and dreams are so important and they play a part in you understanding the Bible. So visions and dreams are important in your life. Yes, they are. Job talked about in the vision of a night, in a dream where the Lord seals his instructions in us. Yes, he does. And you know, he gives them for warnings. He gives them for directions. He also gives them for insight, prophetic insight about things we need to know so we can tell the body of Christ or we can tell the world or to the message that he's giving to us to whomsoever he's, he's intended it for. And now and then the Lord will come and give messages directly for you, telling you about your destiny, who you are in him and a lot, lot more. I've over the years written all my visions and dreams down, especially the ones I, that had an impact on my life and I thought that was significant as well. Um, most often you'll get visions or dreams that you don't understand. It doesn't mean it's not important. Write it down, you know, write it down. Somewhere along the line, somewhere, someone will help you understand that dream or vision or the Lord himself by his spirit will come and explain it to you. Visions and dreams are so important because they contain also the word of God. The essence and the intent of the word. Psalm 119 said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We see that God speaks to us even through dreams and visions. You see the story of Joseph who ends up becoming the prime minister of a foreign nation. He ends up becoming the prime minister of Egypt. But uh, certain events happened in his life, you know, his brothers didn't like him and they sold him to slavery, you know, while his father, while his father wasn't watching, you know, they mistreated him and sold him to slavery, you know, and they went and told their dad, he, oh, well, Joseph's been killed by a wild animal. So Joseph in Egypt, you know, went from a slave to a prisoner and years had passed, but he still hung on to a dream two dreams that stayed in his life. He still believed in the dream that was given to him. And who knows what was happening in Joseph's heart and mind, but we know that he had absolute confidence in the God of his father. Eventually those dreams came to pass. Now Solomon, as we know, is a wise king. God gave him wisdom. And he also received that wis that, that, that you know, gift that blessing of wisdom in a dream when the Lord visited him that night and said, ask what you want and I will give it to you. You know, after he woke up from that dream, that wisdom rested upon his life. Jacob, when he laid his head upon that rock, yes, that was in the vision that the Lord made a promise to him from that point on that he would be with Jacob Hallelujah. We could go on and on and on with all the things that are in, all the ex examples that are in the Bible about dreams and visions being important. They are God's guide. They are God's way of teaching you certain things. Now here is a safety guideline about your dreams and visions. When you have a dream and a vision, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in the meaning of that dream and vision. Secondly, if it's a vision about the, you know, encountering angels and encountering have God and the heavenlies, line it up with the word of God. See if there are uh, similar experiences or scriptures that ground that vision. You want to ground your vision and your experience in the word of God. But this is the interesting thing also as I speak on this. When you ground your vision in the Word of God, you let the Word of God explain the vision or you, you let the vision fit itself 
into the scripture. Either way, you will see it fits perfectly. You will see that what you encountered in the vision will allow you to understand the word better. You know, I learned so many truths that I will be teaching, that I have already taught and it will be teaching in the coming videos that came up from visions, my end time studies being one of them. So that's about it for today. Grab a hold of that vision, put it to your heart. God spoke to the prophets in visions and dreams. And when Peter stood up on the day of Pentecost, he said, that's how the Lord's going to continue to do it through visions and dreams, through prophecies. Grab a hold of that spiritual message, the Holy Spirit message that is in your life right now. Line it up with the word of God. Ground yourself in the purpose of God. Rise up and run with it. Thank you.